wanna share five reasons why you're bloated and how to fix it because I've lost 130 pounds and I bloat really easily and I know how much it sucks and how frustrating it is when you're trying to lose weight and the bloating is affecting you getting and seeing results on the scale, in the mirror, and it affects how your clothes fit because your stomach is so distended. So, number one. Food intolerances. It could be things like, for me, I was eating spinach, onions, garlic, oats from the beginning of my weight loss journey, and it was totally fine. And then one day, my body just stopped responding to them and I started getting stomach pain, gas pain, and severe bloating. And by like process of elimination, I realized it was the so-called foods I thought were healthy that were actually making me bloated. Now I can eat oats a little bit, but if I eat them too many days in a row, I get massive bloating. And the other stuff I really stay away from most of the time now because it really makes my stomach distended and uncomfortable. Oh, also certain spices like paprika. So check your diet. Um, to do it, I ate or eat very similar most of the time so that if I introduce something in my diet and I bloat the next day, I know, oh, it's you. Get out of my diet, bud. <laughs> Number two, you're taking in too much fiber. Fiber is so good for you and it's also slow digesting. So when you're eating in a calorie deficit, it helps you feel fuller longer, which is great. But I have a tendency to go like ham on stuff. So like I was taking in too much fiber and I noticed when I eat um, things like pumpkin, when I eat it too much because it's so full of fiber. Are you allowed to say bungs you up on YouTube? It <laughs> you just did. It does that. It makes me constipated and then my stomach gets very, very bloated and distended and I get gas pains and really uncomfortable. So I like to find a balance between, you know, I like having fiber at most of my meals, but not overboard. Um, you know, I eat whole grain toast in the morning. I have a whole grain wrap and then I eat like blueberries and stuff, but I try to make sure that I don't go overboard because then it actually affects the scale and how I look in the mirror and how I feel like in my clothes and in my body. This is all my personal experience, what I'm sharing. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any papers. Don't listen to me. This is just my experience. I've kept 130 pounds off for eight years. So I've, you know, learned from there as I go, but also I bloat very easily because I have PCOS. So it's a hormonal thing where I, I get extra male hormones, androgens, and it causes me to bloat very easily. So these are the things that I notice. like sometimes I just bloat because of the PCOS. I can't control that, but I try to focus on what I can control by fixing the things I'm sharing with you in this video. And it helps me keep the bloating to a minimum. Number three, water intake. Too much water or not enough water causes me to bloat. When I'm dehydrated, I bloat because my body's not functioning properly, but there was a time where I was drinking seven of these a day and I was noticing I was feel, feeling very, very over full and my stomach was very distended and I realized it was drinking too much water. So I pulled back to five bottles of like this a day and it seems to be the perfect amount for me. Also, balancing out sodium with water. Um, if I go under sodium, I get issues. And if I have too much sodium, I also have issues. So balancing out the water intake with the sodium intake, because you do need some sodium for your body to function properly. Number four, this is a huge one for me. Not taking your time to eat. I have the tendency to chew very fast, not focus on like sitting down and eating slowly and mindfully. I just kind of like shove my food in. I don't chew properly. I don't give my body time to digest the food and chew the food properly so it can be digested. So if you're a fast eater like me, 
it might cause you bloating, which it often does. And I'm like, oh, I feel so bloated. Like, what is my problem? And then I have flashbacks of eating dinner like a mad woman, like in five seconds going, blah, blah, blah. and then wondering, <laughs> I didn't chew my food. I didn't take my time. I didn't give my brain time to register even that I was eating. And now my belly is like, Oh, it feels so uncomfortable. So take the time, no distractions, sit down, chew your food properly, drink water while you're eating so that you can properly digest and it'll feel a lot better. It does for me anyway. Numero five, eat a balanced diet. I learned over time because I've played around with my diet so much and keeping off the weight and sort of experimenting. There was a time where I ate like super low fat and it worked really well for a while and then all of a sudden I started getting bunged. <laughs> and I realized I didn't have enough fat in my diet so I started including and making a balance between like fattier foods like whole eggs and egg whites instead of just egg whites bacon, I added butter, um, those kinds of things. I did 2% cottage cheese instead of 1% fish and oil. fish oil. And that all started helping me form a very good balance. And when I eat a balanced diet, I really notice a difference. I, my bloating is a minimum and I feel so much better. And um, by doing these things, it really helps me get the best results when I'm trying to like lose weight or lean out because it keeps my bloating to a minimum. Even with the hormonal imbalance I have, I'm able to keep my bloating to a minimum by doing the things that I shared with you in this video, even when my hormones are sort of like all over the place. So hopefully this helps you if you're struggling with bloating or you bloat really easily. A lot of these things I didn't even know I was doing and so now I try to, you know, fix these as I go throughout the day and it really helps. And remember, oh, first of all, if you wanna know the exact portions, cause I lost the weight with portion control, the exact portions and meals I ate to lose my weight, I have a weight loss ebook called The First 50. The link is down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have a guilt-free cookbook with versions of, locale versions of all your favorite foods. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. I also got this Huddled HTLT Steps. They have the best protein powder ever and the Casein Whey Blend is actually really good for digestion, which helps me not feel bloated because some protein powders can actually make me feel bloated. So, Code Nicole will save you 10%. The link is down below. Luckier Marshmallow Cereal is the bee's knees. It's my favorite flavor. Weight loss is not a punishment. Love what you're eating, enjoy your life, enjoy your food, enjoy what you're doing for exercise. Take your time eating and just love it. Watch this vid and this vid for more sustainable, fun weight loss tips cause I'm a real friend losing weight in the real world just like you. I love you. Peace, thanks for your support, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next vid. Cue the Rooney. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Bye through it.